Oliver Sacks, a physician, was a professor of neurology in the New York University School of Medicine. In this very interesting book, Musicophilia, he recounts his experiences using music for his neurological studies. The aim of music therapy in people with dementia is far broader than this. It seeks to address the emotions, cognitive powers, thoughts and memories, the surviving self of the patient, to stimulate these and bring them to the fore. It aims to enrich and enlarge existence, to give freedom, stability, organization and focus. This might seem a very tall order, nearly impossible, one would think. Seeing patients with advanced dementia who may sit in a seemingly mindless vacant torpor or scream agitatedly in incommunicable distress. But music therapy with such patients is possible because musical perception, musical sensibility, musical emotion and musical memory can survive long after other forms of memory have disappeared. In our normal state of mind, music can be perceived differently by different people. For some, it may be pure entertainment. For some, it may elevate them. For some others, it may be very meditative. For some, it may be emotionally fulfilling. But in an advanced age, when we have medical conditions, when everything else fails, Music alone, perhaps, can be the pillar of strength which can be with us till our very end. Let's think about it.